kind of work. Um, so I'm working at the office, I'm dealing with the documents, let's say, you know, if you need a passport, if you need the power of attorney, I'm also helping uh, my boss who is a paralegal to fill out some immigration forms. And, um, you know, dealing with paperwork is really hard for me and I don't feel like doing it anymore. <laughs> so I like dealing with people more than doing some paperwork. So I feel like customer service would be a great job for me. So. I used to work at the hotels, I used to be I, a server, you know, so these type of things I like doing, uh, you know, because it involves people, it doesn't involve this, you know, paperwork. So, yeah, customer service jobs are great for me. Uh, what is my best attribute? Um, I think I'm a really caring person, and to be honest, I like to take care of, you know, people and things. I like to be everything under control, and I feel it's like my part to do it, you know, best. So um, I have my husband, Corey, I always take care of him, and I really enjoy doing that. <laughs> so I think I'm a caring person. What do I wish people stop asking me? Oh my God, that's the best question. So I wish people stop asking me, where are you from? Because I know I'm Russian. I'm not afraid to say that I'm Russian, but you know, let's say you go going to grab a, a cup of coffee, right? You go, come into the coffee shop, and the first thing they ask you, what coffee would you like? The second question goes, where are you from? Doesn't matter. Um, no. <laughs> so I think this is the worst question to ask me. It's the same question as like, what's your weight? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, well. <laughs> what I am completely over and down with is the patriarchy. So um, I hate this word. <laughs> I know it used to be, you know, powerful back in the days, but now the life is changing, the world is changing, and I feel like women can be on power. Women can do things, and not only the men rules the world, you know. We can do it too, so I'm over it. What is the worst thing and the best thing about being a female? It's um, getting attention from men, <laughs> definitely. Because at one side, it's really good, you know, the girls look pretty, you know, they're like open-minded at certain things, they're like, you know, being friendly and stuff. But at the other hand, you know, there are a lot of violence, there are a lot of crimes, rapes, you know, and it's all coming out from, it, from the attention that we, you know, we have or whatever, yeah. What's the best thing about female that uh, just being a female is great. <laughs> I don't know, I would go back to the attention part because you know, um, I don't know really. <laughs> That's a good question, I don't know the answer. <laughs> I, I kind of put it together, the attention for the bad and good things, so that's why. <laughs> Who has had the biggest impact in my life is uh, two people actually. My mom, because she raised me without a father. And <laughs> I want to cry now. I love my mom so much. And <laughs> the work, you know, whatever she put in me is just because of her. And uh, the second part, because I'm a grown up woman now, you know, <laughs> is uh, my husband, definitely. Because uh, these two people are just so great in my life. And, Without them, I don't know. <laughs> I would be a completely different person, so I'm so glad. <laughs> what is the biggest challenge in life in general? I would say to find yourself. Because, you know, imagine you wake up every morning and you just love the thing that you're doing. You want to wake up the next day and do whatever you're pas passionate, you know, about. And I think it's the hardest challenge because if you enjoy, you know, what you're doing, you enjoy your life and you are not going to regret anything by the end of your time, you know, but so yeah. What's the biggest lesson uh, life has taught me? Mm, I would say that nothing is impossible because uh, just, you know, I moved to the United States and it's a completely different new life for me and people keep dreaming about moving here and I'm here, I know that it's possible and to find yourself is possible as well and do the things you love is possible, find the person you love is possible, everything is possible, there is no, nothing impossible in your life, it just depends on you, what you think, what you do, what you're gonna do. What word best describes me? I would say a friend. 
because I have a lot of friends back home here and it's so crazy, you know, I've been here for two years now and my friends from back home, they still like having like a get together and like, oh, how is Karina doing? Let's call her or do this and that. And here, you know, it, it happens the same. I miss a couple parties with my friends in here in Los Angeles and people texting me like, where are you? Are you going to come? And it just, yeah, I can definitely call myself a friend and I'm loving it. I love having friends. I love having a strong friendship. Even though, you know, we can be a thousand miles away from each other. It's just the friendship is so strong. So because I'm a good friend. <laughs> what word best describes my view of the world at this time? I would say observing. Because, uh, you know, I'm observing the world right now. It's just so many things happen, you know, 2020, the COVID, then Russian protests, Belarusian protests, George Floyd death. And it's just like, you know, you, it's crazy to have some, like, you know, opinion about this stuff because it's just like right here, day by day, it's just how something happens and you're like kind of getting used to that. So I'm still observing, you know, trying to put together everything and yeah, and I have nothing to say right now, but I'm observing. Do I see an optimistic future in my country? So I'm gonna talk about two countries, Russia and United States. So starting with Russia, unfortunately, no. <laughs> because, uh, you know, it's so crazy what's happening right now in Russia. And it's been like this for over 20 years. So there is no change coming up in the you know, nearest 20 years more. And it's ridiculous to think about it. You know, pe uh, people in the country just stuck at a certain point that they cannot move forward. They just like going backwards. And um, yeah, so unfortunately I love Russia, but um, I don't see anything progressive coming out right now. About the United States, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be more optimistic because uh, there are so many great people here. Um, you know, I'm talking about scientists, I'm talking about actors, I'm talking about this, you know, famous people who, you know, build in this society and like make it move. Like, uh, so, you know, look at the Elon Musk, what this guy is doing. <laughs> You're gonna travel to Mars anytime soon or what's, you know, what's gonna happen? So, I, yeah, I feel like here it's like more progressive, we're like 100 years, you know, in the future already compared to Russia. So yeah, definitely. When you hear, when I hear <laughs> the word Infoega, what comes to my mind? Um, I would say it's a soul, you know. Infoega is a soul because um, this production company, it's just like, it's something like so warm and it's something so open to people and it's just something like kind and I don't know, it just, I feel like I'm a son right now, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, definitely I'm in loving with the projects that, you know, this company does, the hijab, the, this interviews, it's just like, it just, I don't know, I'm so grateful to be a part of this and yeah, it's a soul. <laughs> do I see myself having children in the future? Yes, I do. <laughs> I want to have twins. That's my dream. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, if it's gonna happen, but I would love to have a boy and a girl, no matter what, if it's a twins or not. Um, yes, and uh, Corey's gonna pick the name for the girl. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the name for the guy, it's already <laughs> situated. So he wants to name a girl Lana because he loves Lana Del Rey, obviously. And uh, <laughs> we're still thinking about the boy, but it's not gonna happen right now because we got it kind of settle in right now, you know, I'm 25, he's 33, it's a good age to have kids, don't get me wrong, but we would just need a little bit more time to be ready to be parents, and I think we're going to be great parents, <laughs> yes, definitely, I see myself having kids, and you guys take care of them, I'm just kidding, <laughs> on the weekends, <laughs> what is it to be a woman, right, um, it's a human at first, and it's a mother, it's a sister, it's a political leader, it is the lady from the grocery store, it is your friend, it is wherever you can think of, it's a woman. Because that's it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it came to my mind.